Previously on Sonic and the Black Dragon? What? What the? It is connected. What? What are you doing? <laughs> the nunchuck is connected. Why are you doing this to me right now? Game, stop it. What? <laughs> oh. What is this? I'm a little confused. Hi, hey, and all those other Greenies for Adventurers. Welcome back to another episode of Sonic and the Black Knight with me, Jake Spins, from Spade Gals Productions, Game and Boxing Channel, as well as Spade Gals Original with Girl of Cyclones, Quinn Core, Floral Island Vlogs. Now, I have mixed emotions right now, and that is for many reasons. And for for one, we're, we're going to Dark Hollows, so that's, that's exciting. So that, you know, that's the exciting news. But at the same time, I was just like, you know what? I should have a snack before this, and that would be a good idea. I can jazz myself up and be all nice and energetic and happy. And I go, and I'm looking for my granola bars. And I have three different types that I brought to my grandma's, and I brought home. And it was like marshmallow peanut butter, and then there was a pack of blueberry and strawberry that were like on different ones that had yogurt on the bottom and I was so pumped to just go and grab one and I can't find them they're just like they're not existent I have the Chips Ahoy cereal which was in the same bag and it's on the island clearly displayed and I'm looking all around the house and I can't find it I'm really hoping that it's not like something like it was put away in in a way that it would be for like lunches or something because I, they're good for the morning. Like a, a yogurt granola bar. It's nice, it's he it's healthy er than most things. I don't know how healthy it really is, but it's, it's delicious and I wanted one and now I, I can't find one. And I tried to settle for one of the ones downstairs that it was like peanut butter and chocolate chip, but it wasn't, it wasn't good because it was, it was like stale a little bit. It was getting a little stale. So now I'm just sad. <laughs> and I walked into a spider web letting the uh, dog out before. So now that I've told you my tales of woe, um, yeah, we're back. This is a very different day. Uh, different week <laughs> in that whole entire vein. And we are going to be going to Dark Hollow. Now, I do want to say something really quickly here. Um, a little, little disclaimer. I, as you guys know, I haven't played this in a long time. I would play it standing up, but I'm not expecting, as good as I used to be at this, at this specific place we are about to go, I'm not expecting gold <laughs> at all. So on the first run, I'm going to do no re retries, or at least I'm going to try not to so that I can learn the boss and then I'll jump back in and I'll try and see if we can um, if we can do it. So let's jump into this very um, cutscene heavy thing. Now the other thing is I don't know if the blacksmith affects this and you guys might be like that's weird. First of all you can only pick Sonic. Secondly um, you don't know if the blacksmith affects. Why is that? Also sorry about the fans being on. I got all warm and I was like, I don't want to be recording while I'm warm because then I, I can't talk. And then I'm just like, oh. So, you know, but we're going to go to equipment and let's see. Um, Well, that's not going to help us at all. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like nothing is really going to help us in this fight. Um, I, Yeah, we don't pick up rings. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna help us. <laughs> what if what if it was so broken that it could uh, I'm not even gonna say that my thought on that, but like Yeah, it doesn't really It's not gonna really matter, huh? I guess I guess the best thing to do would be the rabbit's tail then, because if it does affect, then that would be a good thing. This would be a good mission to have that on. Anyway though, let's get started by hitting A. 
Okay. Such a dramatic cutscene, too, and I ruined it by talking. <laughs> Sonic's just like, I have literally no idea what you're talking about. No, I should have though. I can succeed with the power of the scout, creating a kingdom that never ends. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that flower? Foreshadowing. I wanted to say something back then, but I was like, I'm not going to. <laughs> Wait, solid snakes in this kingdom. <laughs> the new Smash logo for it. I mean, she does I I honestly think she looked a lot cooler and better in her in her normal form, like as Merlina. Let me know what what do you guys think looked cooler, the Dark Queen or Merlina, like just in this human form right now. But she has she has this force field, like it's Mario Tennis Aces or something. And look at that, we just get bruises and dust. Or Sonic's rusting. I don't know. Do you guys think Sonic's rusting? Hmm, very questionable. You fool! You're, you're very injured, and now, uh, now, now Caliburn is very injured. Would that actually kill him, though? I mean, you could mend it back together, but would would taking off his blade actually kill him, or wouldn't it? Cause wouldn't it be the handle when you think about it? Cause the sword, the sword's not gonna like bleed or anything. I've never really thought about that. Don't do it. We haven't even finished our discussion of if Caliburn's still alive yet. And I I haven't really said it, but I really like the art style like of this whole storybook thing. So nice and so clean. Sir Sonic, you've done enough. Honestly, if I if I was actually Sonic in that, I would I would have literally just been like, I'm I'm not I'm not taking this on. <laughs> I would have been one of the guys at the portal just like just watching in terror. Don't you know Sonic? Sonic literally never dies. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic is six is proof of that. I, I mean, if he does, apparently he just kiss a princess. And I think it was more so the Chaos Emeralds, more so. But they made it look like the kiss. Like the kiss was completely unnecessary in 06, to be honest. Okay, we're about to see one of my favorite things of this game. Look at how good this looks! I literally- I want you to know, I legitimately have the music for the transformation of this exact cutscene on my iPod. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Look at how good this looks! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Yes. Yes. A lot of people will tell you, like, honestly, for me, this is one of my favorite forms of Sonic, and I'm not alone in this. No matter what anybody thinks of this game, pretty much everybody loves this form as well as 
the form in the previous game, which I won't say because we never covered it. But, like, these forms are just so good. I mean, the final boss doesn't look as great, but... Okay, so yeah, A is to dodge right, and Z is to dodge left. I believe... I think you can hit back, right? Yeah, you can break that. Okay. Yeah, so right now I'm just learning. Well, we might as well restart. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't, but... Yeah, but yeah, you can you can just break that. And there we go. You can also still dodge, though. Is there actually, like, a perfect hit thing for that? That I just never knew about? <laughs> I was like, it's just like, oh, go all out. And it's like, oh, yeah, by the way. Okay, it's it's fine. It's fine though. We just gotta dodge, and this is this is me learning. I am the learning person of learningness. I don't know, that, that made no sense. Can I actually Oh you can. See that's important to know. Okay, so you do get perfect I don't does that do anything? I don't know, it might I think there's like three hits on this though. Back up! Oh, I break your darkness. Who needs dodging when I can just break you? <laughs> I say as a... Well, somebody's angry about what I'm saying. I'm not even sure, like, how to even specifically do that. Ow! I should have just dodged. Okay, that that was lucky. That, that was really lucky. Oh, you almost got me with that. What? I hit B! The game's like, uh, no you didn't hit B. I should have waited. This is bad. Oh my god. They're rolling when you do that. I got you. I got you. Girl. Girl, you don't even know. You don't even know. Okay. So, um, one thing I wanted to mention is somebody was like... there. Were, there's this one thing called, like, super cheats or something. And somebody was just like, if you... I'm dead now. <laughs> I died! No! Okay, I restarted because I accidentally swore. <laughs> okay, anyway though. Somebody somebody was just like on, on this website called like Super Cheats or something. They were just like, If you beat this boss fight in under a minute, then you will actually get Marlena as a playable character. I'm like, I'm sitting over here like, no. I'm looking at all these different sites that have a bunch of different information about this game and literally none of them say that beating this under a minute unlocks this character. I've never seen anybody playing this character in my life. It would be on YouTube. It would be on other sources. And it's still there after nine years. After nine years. And it's like... Yeah, no. Yeah, I gotta figure out that timing then. But you know what? We are getting those perfect hits, so keep that score coming. I mean, it is possible, though, I think. I'm gonna have to look on my old file and then let you guys know. Because it probably is possible, because I remember that I've beaten her really, really quick. Oh! Ah! Oh, and that just destroyed my face. <sighs> Dang it. That one threw me off because my timing was bad. Yeah. Dodging only can do so much spins. I'm a, I'm a sad... I'm a sad one. 
I'm so sad that I got hit twice again. Okay, it's again, it's fine. It's fine. This is an RPG. <laughs> Woo! You want a tango? Huh? Girl, you want a tango? Nobody needs that. Nobody needs that! We're fine. We're fine. There we go! There we were like two hits off of that! Ugh. I actually almost dodged, and it's like, mmm. You don't want to dodge right now. I'm just gonna go all out for it. See, that's the thing. If you just keep swinging, you'll eventually do that. It's not a hard, hard boss fight. It's a, it's a very fun one. If you know how to do it right, you can do it very well. I don't know exactly how we did. We will retry it, but I would like to get the items. So, like, I just wanted to show you guys. I can... <laughs> it's not that hard, but we are gonna be going back and doing that. We did get hit twice. We got some perfect hits. That was a three star. Nothing nothing too exciting, but I don't think you really get anything for five starring this boss, so technically you don't have to. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. I guess we would find out, wouldn't we? But we've got <laughs> Poison Brooch, the Ice Brooch! Which is a seven star rarity. Not sure exactly why we found it on her, but Maybe she just likes poison and ice? I mean, it's a mix from fire and ice, so sonic boom, poison and ice? I mean, it doesn't sound that bad. Resistant to freeze attacks, greatly increased when worn. We haven't really been frozen, so it probably won't be that exciting to have. The cure all brooch. This is a, holy crud, is that an eight star? That's an 8 star! I didn't know they had such rarity items! Resistant to all status effects slightly increased when worn? Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Oh my god, that's good. I didn't even know that was in the game. There's an 8 star rarity that cures all status... Wow. What in the world would we get for doing 5 star if we're getting that? Like, after a few seconds, it's like, okay, this is, this is perfect timing. Like, I just, I just don't understand it. Got it! Got it! Oh my gosh, all perfects. Okay. Okay, every hit I did was basically perfect. I got hit no times. Did we do it? Did we do it? Come on, come on, tell me we did it. See, this is what happens when you play this literally in my free time. I would go onto this game and I would constantly play it. Constantly. 
because I loved this boss so god dang much. Got it. Got it. So much easier. <laughs> it's funny though, because it's such an easy boss, but it's so fun that I constantly played it. We got a new development data art acquired. We got the Encyclopedia Arcana. A rarity 5 star. This makes the identification of special items easier. I'm sure that would be helpful to somebody. The Poison Brooch. And the Samurai Helmet. Whoa. Oh, okay. That is a rarity... That is a rarity 9. Holy crud. <laughs> that is a rarity 9 star. A helmet designed using Eastern technologies. Sold as a work of art. Holy crud. Rabbit's tail, thank you. All that, thank you. I don't know if I'll cut this to the end after we do the full thing. Maybe? I don't know. She did look prettier with the braid, but I love the attention to detail of her hair being all, like, rustled and stuff. So sad. Would you... Would, would you say yes to that proposal? <laughs> if Sonic just walked up with a rose and just <laughs> bent down a little bit and went, Would you like to go with me to prom? <laughs> That's not what's happening. Oh, I'm gonna get roasted now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just making a joke. I'm sorry. Again, it's a sad moment, and I'm, I'm laughing. Yeah, but he's alive. Yeah, now they don't have a king. Oh, you, you mean the, the... Him? Snoopy? Snoopy is King Arthur? What? Why didn't you tell me? We could Bro, we could have fixed this. We could have fixed this whole problem if you would have just told us that you were King Arthur. Pitiful. Pitiful. <laughs> anyway, though. I will give my thoughts on the project. We do still have a little bit more to go. I don't exactly know how much, but like I said, this was the second half of the game. There is actually legitimate post game stuff. I don't know how much there is. I don't know how many people have really done it, but it is, this game is great. I will say that the, the soundtrack, it might be small, it might be a very short game that you could you could easily finish this game in a day if you just played casually. You'd have no problems. Even with all those five stars so far, I've only played for nine hours. This playthrough hasn't really even lasted a month at all, and it's already basically done. So that tells you how easily short and nice of a time you can have with this game if you just breeze through it because you don't have to get everything but i'm not planning on getting everything but i'm i'm going for what i can and the best part about this is i'm discovering things that i never knew about this game i'm discovering soul surge in general basically how it can be broken in the sense of really good and not working whatsoever. Throwing you out of bounds. I have never seen a glitch at all in this game. And the fact that I found an out of bounds glitch is so typical to the SGP fashion of Let's Plays. We always find one glitch. And I don't know why I didn't expect it at all. But this game... It, it has a charm to it. It's very underrated. And probably for one reason of it being so short compared to 
well, Secret Rings probably takes quite a bit longer just because of the controls and not much, but a little bit. Now, there are surprises that this game has that I haven't revealed yet, and it's stuff that, as a kid, I was extremely shocked about, like certain characters being in battle mode that literally only were because of fan appeal and made no other sense to be in the game because they didn't show up otherwise and they hadn't they didn't really have much make sense connections except for maybe the time when this game came out did i get frustrated oh yes a hundred percent to the point where i have um i have sworn but that is in blooper stuff that I will censor out if it if it does end up being on the channel at all. But um, it's because of Rust and being hasty. There are so many people that could play this game, get five stars easily, and not swear once. <laughs> you know? But all in all, it's a fun game. There's still a lot to do, a lot that we can do, such as creating the swords... There are still abundant amount of swords that we can collect. And I now know that failing a mission, you can get different things. And because of that, it makes sense why I couldn't get any of the items even when I was in my childhood. Why I could never figure out where these missing items are coming from. And of course, there were flowers and stuff that I'd never seen. And a ton of items just through running through the game as an adult. And having that experience and as I said I've I wanted to make my YouTube experience more of being happy not worrying about views or subscribers but something that I would personally enjoy and be curious about and I've been wanting to do this game for a long time that one pre-recording session made me feel like maybe I made a mistake doing this and maybe I shouldn't have done it because it ruined something that was great in my eyes. But once those days rolled by, I realized it was because for once in this game, I allowed myself to take up a challenge and to go for something that I had never done before. And that idea just blew my mind and just made me feel wonderful. So if there's any childhood game that you haven't played in years and you want to go back to it, go back to it. Because you might have that experience that I had. Yeah. I forgot about this cutscene. Oh, also I forgot. There we go. See, this is weird. Because it's so... It's it's so obscure. And it's so out there. And random. And just being like... Oh, by, by the way, Sonic missed a date with Amy. Which makes you go... Wait, what? So, I guess... Sure, maybe they just confirmed Sonny's... Or, not Sonny's. Son Amy... With that, but other than this, I haven't seen any single thing that says, look, Sonic and Amy are dating, other than the Archie comics, which are a completely different canon. Oddly enough, this is the only time that I know of that any character has even been mentioned dating in general in this game. In, well, in Sonic's gaming universe, the only things that have come close are Cosmo and Tails in Sonic X, as well as... Vector and Vanilla, Cream's mom, which is interesting to say the least. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll, I still support Sane's, even if there's a dimensional rift that would probably become a problem. But to be fair, they can be sucked into storybooks. So... They can do whatever they want. <laughs> we acquired new background music, which I didn't mention how um, With Me is actually a really great song. 
and that is the I want to say that's the one the one at the final boss is really good new record has been set new character available now you might be like okay well who might that be and again I'll show the character roster in my okay and you might be wondering what about the King Arthur issues we will be getting to that eventually because that is important we got new missions in Cauldron, Great Megalith, Knight's Passage, Deep Woods, and that is all right there. It wants to tell us that we're done, but we, we are not. Um, because we do actually need to go back in. There's a nice little thing for the Dark Hollow. I don't know if I've ever really noticed that. I've seen it, but I don't know if I noticed that. And of course, we're not going to look at all this stuff because it's not the complete end of the game. <laughs> we cannot. Um, that... That went a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I did not have the highest of hopes. But at the same time, I had very high hopes. It was a mixture of things. A mixed butterfly, if you will. But anyway, though, guys. Thankfully, that went a lot better than I thought. Not as best as I thought, but a lot better than I thought. And... Well... I don't know if I'll tack it on here or what I'll do. We do still have to Five Star Knight's Passage. We do have a bunch of other missions, however. And you might notice a little oddball out of the bunch. That isn't red. It has a new. I think we're going to tackle that last. Alright. Hope you enjoyed. And see you later. Okay. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can go to the right of the screen to find more SGP videos, as well as some SGO videos, and to the left, you can find the subscription button for SGP and SGO. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!